Hello everyone! In this Flexbox tutorial I will show you code examples of how the flex items align along the main axis using the Justify Content property. This tutorial is for beginners so I will explain everything step by step. First in my CSS code I have created a flex container with the ID of main and set the display property to flex to make it a flex box. On the next line down we have the flex flow property which is shorthand for both the flex direction and flex wrap properties. You list the value for flex direction first followed by the value for flex wrap. Here I have flex direction set to row and flex wrap set to wrap. On the line after that we have the justify content property set to flex start. This means that our items will be aligned from the start of the main axis. Below the main container I have created three flex items. Then here in the body you can see that the three flex items are contained within the main container because flex items must be children of the flex container. Our justify content property is set to flex start and flex direction is set to row. Let me show you how the flex items align in preview. With flex direction set to row, the main axis is horizontal starts at the left and ends at the right. Flex start is at the left of the main axis. Justify content set to flex start aligns flex items to the start of the main axis. Now let's see what happens when we change the flex direction to column. The main axis is now vertical. Starts at the top and ends at the bottom. With justify content set to flex start, our flex items are aligned at the start of the main axis which is now the top. Let's change our justify content property to flex end. Now our flex items start at the bottom of the main axis. If we change flex direction to row, our main axis becomes horizontal again. And our flex items align to the right with justify content set to flex end. Let's change our justify content property to center. Our flex items are now centered along the main axis, which is horizontal with flex direction set to row. Let's see what happens when we set flex direction to column. Our flex items are now centered along the main axis which is vertical with flex direction set to column. Let's change our justify content property to space between. With justify content set to space between, our flex items are spaced evenly across the main axis with the first item appearing at flex start and our last item appearing at flex end. If we change flex direction to, to row, justify content set to space between causes our flex items to be spaced evenly across the main axis which is now horizontal. Let's change our justify content property to space around. With justify content set to space around, our flex items are spaced evenly across the main axis with equal space on all sides of every flex item including the first and last item. Now let's switch flex direction to column. Here's a recap of how flex items are aligned with flex direction set to row. With the justify content property set to flex start, the flex items are aligned to the left. With the justify content set to flex end, the flex items are aligned to the right. With justify content set to center, the flex items are aligned to the center. With justify content set to space between, the flex items are aligned with the first item aligned to the left and the last item aligned to the right, and the rest of the items spaced evenly. With justify content set to space around, the flex items are aligned with equal space on all sides of the flex items. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Flexbox Justify Content Property. Please subscribe to Bootstrap CSS Curl for more tutorials.